Hi guys, welcome back. In this part, we are going to explore installing required libraries and integrating Django application with it. In the last chapter, we have created an instance for deploying the Django application. Let's take the remote of the instance on the terminal like we have done before. Azure service is a fresh service, so first update the service. sudo apt-get update and sudo apt-get upgrade. Installing the required application and packages. Now to run the Django application on the server, we need to set off applications. So we are going to install all these applications. First Python. This is installed in our Ubuntu server. You can check by the command below. Next Python virtual environment. To create different virtual environment for our application, we can use the virtual environment. To install that, use the below command. Now create a virtual environment for our application with the command python3 m v e n v e n v. Here env is the name of our environment. You can change it if you want. Now activate the environment. For activating the environment, source env slash bin slash activate. Next application is Django framework. In this series, we are going to use Django framework. So we need to install Django using pip. Next, pulling our application from the GitHub. As this series is based on the deployment, I am assuming that you have prepared your Django application to production ready and publish it to GitHub. If not, please do that. You can also follow a video on our channel with the title how to make Django application production ready. Please go through that and prepare your application. If you want to use my test Django application, then you can get that from the link on description box. Now clone the application using, using the following command. git clone the link of your git repository. Next setting the nginx. In our development, we are using the default HTTP server given by Django, but in our production, we will use nginx server. It will perform faster and we can install nginx using the command sudo apt-get install dash y nginx. Next gunicon. This is a WSGI interface which act as a link between our Django application and the nginx server using a mechanism called unix socket. So, to install gunicon, you can install gunicon from pip by the command pip3 install gunicon. Remember, here I am using pip3 in Windows, you will, you will use pip. Now, if you visit the IP of your instance, you can get the welcome to nginx page. This is because we have installed nginx and gunicon, but we haven't configured them. So, to configure them, we have to install another one. Supervisor. It makes sure that your application always run in the background. If anything wrong happen to server, it automatically start the process and make the application running always. You can install the supervisor from the following command. sudo apt-get install supervisor. Now, we have to create the configuration so that supervisor can read the configuration and work accordingly. The configuration file of the supervisor will present inside a directory on path slash etc slash supervisor slash conf t. So let's get into that directory. Now create a configuration named gunicon.conf conf. Now edit the configuration file using nano, sudo nano 
गुणिकांड डाट कांड दिस इज द कॉन्फ़िगरेशन फाइल आई हैव रिटेन नेक्स्ट क्रिएटिंग लॉग डिरेक्टरी As you can see in the file, we have given the path of log file to a directory. Let's create that log directory. Now, tell the supervisor to read the configuration file. Now, you will see a prompt guni colon available. Now let's tell the supervisor to start the gunikan in the background. You can check the status by the command sudo supervisor ctl status. Our next step will be to configure nginx to read the socket file. All the nginx configuration are saved in slash etc slash nginx slash sites available. So enter to that directory using cd. Now let's create a configuration file for our application and edit it using nano. Here we are giving the configuration file name as django.conf. First, we are listening to port 80 and we are given the server name as the name of your EC2 instance. Now test the configuration. if it's successful we have to enable this file so that nginx will read this file now restart the nginx now visit to the website you will find the website is live but static files are not working in the next part we are going to explore how we can configure static file with our ec2 instance thank you for watching this video Tell me how this video is helping you on the comment section. If you find this video is helpful, then give a like and subscribe to this channel so that next time a new video come, you will get notified.